Cardinals hosting the Pirates, and the Pirates are plus 143. On the money line, the Cardinals are minus 170. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Pirates getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 145, and the Cardinals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 122. Oviedo pitched twice against the Cardinals last year. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They lost 2-1 to one in St. Louis. Four innings, three runs, two earned. They won 5-3. to three. He split his season, I believe, with the Cardinals and with the Pirates. Now, Woodford pitched four times against the Pirates. All of these games were in relief. Three innings, no runs, no earned. They lost 9-4. One and two-thirds, four runs, four earned. They lost 8-2 in Pittsburgh. One and two-thirds, no runs, no earned. They won 13-3. Two innings, no runs, no earned. They lost 5-3, to three, and that was in Pittsburgh. So three out of the four games that he appeared in, they lost. Now head to head, the home team is five and five. The Pirates are on a two game winning streak against the Cardinals. These teams are five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is five and five. The over is five, four and one. The over under is at eight and a half is five and five. And I believe I said there's been three one run games. The last game they played against each other, the Pirates won 5-0, which was today. The game before that, the Pirates won 5-3. The game before that, the Cardinals won 8-7. And the game before that, the Pirates won 3-2. So the Pirates have won three out of the last four, or four out of the last five against the Cardinals that they've played against them. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Pirates have scored five runs, uh, no runs, seven runs, and two runs. The Cardinals have scored no runs, seven runs, nine runs, and four runs. I'm going to take the Pirates with the money line. I'm going to take the Pirates getting the runs. And I'm going to go over because Oviedo's ERA is sky high. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.